it's a lot like where we're from um, back home. It's it's quiet and you don't have to you never have to worry about anything. Um, we lived in Lincoln for five years before moving to Seward, and it's it's an, an entirely different dynamic. Um, you can you can go to the grocery store and leave your front door unlocked. You can you know there like Ashley said, there's kids out playing after dark all over town mm -hmm. and it's just a great community focused place to be I guess. Uh, so my name is Jordan Rapp. Um, I'm originally from Ansley, Nebraska. Uh, it's a little town of about 400 people out by Broken Bow. I'm Ashley Rapp. I'm from Broken Bow, so close to Ansley. Um, yeah. We, uh, we both moved to the area for college. Uh, we both went to UNL, um, spent a little time in Lincoln, and then uh, found our way to Seward. Yeah, so right now I work with the Department of Health and Human Services. So once we found out that we were going to move here, I started job searching. Um, and that really um, was brought to my attention. And I'm a sales and commercialization specialist at PetSource. Um, for me, I found out through his work um, and him commuting and realizing, you know, maybe we could move here so he could stop commuting so often. But yeah, so I, uh, I'd actually been to Seward a couple times before I started uh, working here in town. Um, so I, I always knew about Seward and, you know, growing up in Nebraska, you know, everything about every town and where every town is. So uh, it was um, just, we knew about it. And then I got a job here and I guess the rest is history. So, um, Originally, we were drawn to Seward because I didn't like my commute. Uh, but the more we, the more we found out about the community and how community-oriented it is, and how great the people are here, and how driven the community is to to grow and change and evolve, I think we we just really liked the whole all of Seward. I'm uh, an ambassador to the chamber for my work. Um, so I go to ribbon cuttings and um, kind of see the new businesses that are coming to town and represent pet source that way. Um, outside of that, I, we have tried to immerse ourselves in everything that Seward County has to offer. Um, the, the 4th of July events, obviously. The Christmas parade. The, I, some would say I might have a special part in the Christmas parade. Yeah. Um, enjoying all the, the great restaurants here in Seward and being being present as much as we can in the community and the activities that it has to offer. We find ourselves at the, the Rivoli a lot. Yes, um, a lot. It's, it's great that we can go to a movie and get snacks and it only costs us $20 yeah. compared to you know somewhere bigger like Lincoln where a ticket for one person is $20. Um, Rue 6. We, we go to Rue 6 often. Yeah. Uh, you can you can find us at La Casina about once a week. Yeah. <laughs> um, other than that, um, we spend a lot of time walking our dog around town, um, enjoying the, the trails and the neighborhoods. Yeah. If someone were to be interested, telling them about the fun events that Seward has. Um, I mean, we probably haven't been to all of them. We can still experience more, but just telling them about our experiences and the fun we've had. I'd say, yeah, I, to add to that, I'd say for any young professionals, like Seward, the, the s small town of Seward may seem like it's sleepy and quiet, but there's, there's really a lot going on here. Um, and it's a it's a great place to start your careers, start your families, 
and you know if you ever need to make a trip into Lincoln or whatever, it's not that far, but really Seward offers all the amenities you would need. Mm -hmm.